John Bruschetti, today I thought I'd throw out a quick idea of a device that you can add to your set of tuning forks in the study of sound. Now I have the standard range of 256 up to 512. It's a set of eight which is pretty much standard for the study of sound in science. Uh, however, I wanted something larger. So I found that the front fork off of a bicycle actually makes a really nice large tuning fork. So let's try it. All right, now let's start off with a C. This is 256 vibrations per second. This is what it sounds like. And if we move up to an E, this is 320 vibrations per second. And let's try a B, 480 vibrations per second. So these are regular grade tuning forks. Now let's try our big one. Here's what it looks like. It hasn't been modified anyway, just painted. And it vibrates at 54 hertz, 54 vibrations per second, so. It's very low. My students wanted to see the movement of the tine, so I borrowed a strobe light so that we could slow down the movement of them. This is a middle C. It vibrates at 256 times per second, and so I'll adjust the strobe light so that it's slightly higher or lower than that frequency. We can see that the tines move in and out together. Now let's try it with our big one. Another way to see the movement is to put the tines in order. Now let's try this with the big one. After the initial splash, we get some very interesting wave patterns. Now when I started videotaping this tuning fork, I noticed something very peculiar. Can you see it? Let's try the same thing behind a dark background. When we put this large fork in front of a dark background, we can simply see the tines vibrating. Now when we put it in front of a light background, there appear to be slow-moving waves within the tines. It looks like they're bending. I'm not sure what causes this. I've only noticed this with the large tuning fork. It's interesting that it only appears in front of light card backgrounds and not in front of dark card ones. Okay, so there's my bicycle tuning fork. I'm hoping this is a start of a collection of larger ones and smaller ones, and hopefully it'll give us a little bit better understanding of what's going on. Okay, bye.